Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Uzi Game, and today we are back with another F1 2021 career mode. And we're going to be doing the Australian Grand Prix. We are nearing towards the end of the season. Where is uh, France's uh, standings? So, you currently have Max Verstappen first and Valtteri Bottas. Due to Valtteri Bottas getting a DNF, that brings him further down into uh, P2. Um, Lewis Hamilton ca also catching up to Valtteri Bottas with one point difference. Let's see if the Mercedes can catch up to Max Verstappen. And as you can see on the constructor constructor standings, um, Mercedes are quite far away from Red Bull. And hold on, guys. Why the hell? Yeah, so we have Australia, we have Saudi Arabia, which is Jeddah, and then we have Abu Dhabi, which is United Arab Emirates. And yeah, I'll be seeing you guys when we get into qualifying. Peace. Okay, so we just started our lap. Car feels fucking heavy, mate. That brake was awful. Okay. I'm not that much of a fan of Australia, if I'm being honest. That's one bit I hate the most. Which we're coming up to right now. Which is um sector two to three. I hate where you have to go left and right. I hate this bit the most. I just don't know why. Alright, Lewis Hamilton at 129. Ugh! We at 123! What the fuck? I'm going again. I have to go again. Is it gonna be lost? Hell no. Okay, not let that happen. Only one yeah, that's a bit of hanging. That's good. Mazapin, get out the way! Mazepin, you slow prick. Get out! I don't care about your time, I care about mine. Man, I hear him. Why is he breaking so early? I just lost so much time because of him. Oh my lord. There we go. That puts us in a better position. Okay, so we couldn't make it into P2. Well, no, Q2. Um, Kimi Raikkonen getting that spot. Just a few milliseconds off. Unfortunate, but let's hope it's like Brazil and we make our way through the pack, hopefully. See you guys when we get into the race. Welcome to Melbourne. You can hear the roar of the crowd out there, which can only mean one thing. Race day is upon us. We're a stone's throw from the enormous Port Phillip Bay for today's race at the 3.3 mile Albert Park circuit. It's a bumpy racing surface here and the 16 corners could prove especially difficult in the wet conditions. Watch out for a safety car at some point during the Grand Prix.
Not one of the easiest days to go racing. It's damp, it's slippery, there's dark clouds as far as the eye can see. The rain is here then, and that's going to take away a lot of the grip, Anthony Davidson, and make turn one very interesting indeed. Yeah, it's these kind of conditions where you can go in with one of two mindsets. You either see it as an opportunity, or you're worried that all of your hard work's about to be undone. We've been stuck in these conditions now for a few hours, more or less this kind of intensity, so we don't seem to have too much standing water, so we're not likely to be starting behind a safety car. And like you say, Crofty, the charge down into Turn 1 will be quite interesting. I think we're in for a cracking Grand Prix. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Perez, Leclerc, Lando Norris and Ricardo, Vettel, Bottas, Stroll and Antonio Giovinazzi, Russell, the rookie, Carlos Sainz and Tictum. They've taken a grid penalty. Raikkonen, Mick Schumacher, Nicholas Latifi and Nikita Mazepin. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Sonoda, Ocon, Fernando Alonso, they've taken a grid penalty. And Pierre Gasly picks up the final grid slot today. And now it's time to head down to the track. Okay, so we are here in Melbourne. As you can see, it is raining slightly here. Take a look at the strategy. Team think we should go on hard and then go on softs. But the two stop is quicker, so we're going to be going for this one here. And I think we'll have a chance to stay in the race more. We are starting 12th because people got grid penalties and stuff like Pierre Gasly and um, Alonso and Ocon. But yeah, let's get started. Okay, so it's five red light, and off we go. In a weird situation here because it is raining and we're using slick tyres here. Alright, we send one down on Kimi Raikkonen, but we are on medium so we cannot keep up with their pace. We send one down. Oh, contact made between me and Signs. That was a ballsy move. We probably shouldn't have done that. And we've done that move for no reason because they get away and we are back where we are. And that can be Raikkonen and also overtaking us. But we're still ahead of him though. We're still ahead of him. Lovely. And they have Kimi Raikkonen side by side. Me and him. He decided to go for the move though. Alright, lovely. We sent one down on him. Fantastic. Let's hope Juvenetta can hold Latifi off for us while we get away, you know? Good. Good job. Nice overtake. I mean, Raikkonen is seven seconds. Oh, man. These conditions are so shit. Fucking hell. It's so bad, man. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. One soft on lap 18. Copy. Okay, looks like everyone is pitting. Well, not us. But, looks like they're all pitting. We have to break early because they look fucking Leclerc. How does he have fucking DRS? Guys, just get out of the way! Oh my lord, this fucking inbred man. Alright, looks like there are people on softs are now all pitting now. Okay, you're in the top ten. Hey, just hold him off, Bottas, please. 
All right, that's Joe and Addison if it's now finally. Okay, strolls in the pits. Okay. Into P8. That's P8 now. Yeah, we're gonna lose it all, Joe. Can't sweep it. Well, we are gonna be on soft though, so yes, that's a plus. Caution, caution. Mm, what the hell's happened? Be aware, there's an incident in the next part of the track. Who's that? No oh, it's Perez. It's Perez. Oh my! The engine just blew into my face. Like lovely. That brings an extra okay, score. information on Perez. It looks like the problem is terminal. They're retiring the car. Lovely. That's that's the news we love to hear. Well, I'm after pit. All right, off we go into the pit lane. Tires are flipping old. We're gonna up on the softs. We're gonna be 12th. It said we're gonna be 12th. It said, but we're gonna be on soft tires, so we should be able to catch up to them. Hopefully, one team. Exit, Decent exit pit stop. Out. Decent. Pit strategy complete. See these tires through to the end now. All right. Looks like we gained some time to Raikkonen in there, which is good. Okay, so we are currently P12. We are catching up to Kimi Raikkonen. We are on the better compound. We are on the softs. He's on the hards. His tyres are worn out. And we send one down on Kimi Raikkonen. We're on the inside. And we just have better speed and grip. Easy overtake. Fantastic. We're into P11. Let's see if we can catch up to George Russell here. All right. We've gained some ground on George Russell here. Okay, we're getting closer and closer. We're so, okay, I'm right behind him now. I go to the right, and a lovely move that is on the inside. Fantastic. P10. Lovely, we started P12, and now we are P10. The strategy the team has put out for us is clearly working. Amazing by the team here. Let's see what we can do. Can we catch up to Carlos Zainz? Trying to gain ground on him. Using all the ERS. We just have the best speed. Lovely, we go left and right. Now we have DRS. I'm using ERS. We're side. No, we're right behind him. We're side by side now. We take a move on the inside. Lovely move. Lovely. And now we are into P9. And now we are gaining ground on Lance Stroll there. Okay, so we are right next to Lance Stroll here. We're right behind him now. We send one down on the inside once again. Fantastic. We've done it to George Russell, Kimi Raikkonen. Amazing. Absolutely fantastic. We're into P9 now. Can we get Sebastian Vettel? It's a four second difference. Okay, so we have surprisingly gained ground on Sebastian Vettel and Daniel Ricciardo here. And we send one down on the inside. Fantastic. For the opportunity, we're taking it. And now we're into P7. We have Daniel Ricciardo now. He does not have DRS. Are we going to send one down? Using ERS and DRS. Oh, we think about it. But we, we hold it down. And now we have DRS again. Are we going to send one down? Yes, we are. We send one down on the inside here. Daniel Ricciardo almost pitches off the track. And we get the move done. Can we get Charles Leclerc here? There's a five second difference. But we do have the, the grip here and the speed. Okay, so we are right behind Charles Leclerc here. Using DRS and ERS. We send one down on the outside. Lovely move, absolutely fantastic. Can we can we get a podium? Can we get a podium? We have a chance of getting a podium. Getting closer to Bottas here. Charles Leclerc cannot catch up. I made it right next to Valtteri Bottas here. We we try we send one down actually on the inside. What an amazing move that was! Almost hitting the barrier. And now we have Lando Norris 
This is our chance for this season to get a podium. Right, we go left and right. We have DRS and ERS here. Are oh, we going to send one down on Lando Norris here for the podium? We send one down on the inside. We are side by side. And again, we just have the speed. And fantastic. We are into P3, guys. Our first chance of the season to get a podium ever. And we get DRS as well. Thank you, Mazapin. Can we get the fastest lap? And we do! I think. Is that the fastest lap? Oh my lord. What a strategy by the team. Absolutely amazing. Our first ever podium. That's it for another Grand Prix and a fantastic win for Mercedes. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it. And after this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. Our championship leader is still sat at the top of the standings, but their rivals have made up some solid ground today. Some amazing talent out on the track today. But Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? I have to give it to the rookie. They pushed and pushed and found some fantastic performance. It was just a pleasure to watch. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Meanwhile, good work from the owner driver's team this weekend who pushed themselves further up the order. And with that, we wrap up another weekend of motorsport. But with more races lined up, be sure to join us when we come back with more Formula One. Okay, so congratulations to Lewis Hamilton getting um, the first podium. Max Verstappen um, getting away from Valtteri Bottas. Valtteri Bottas is throwing. And he has two races left. Oh wait, no. Lewis Hamilton has beat Valtteri Bottas. So now Lewis Hamilton is second. And Verstappen is sec uh, first. We, however, I believe we gained some ground on Daniel Ricciardo. And Yuki Tsunoda and Pierre Gasly. You know, they're way behind us now. Dan Tictum, not the best race. I think he should have started on mediums as well. Let's take a look at the standings here. Yeah, there's a nine gap difference. Let's see who's gonna win Lewis Hamilton or Max Verstappen. As you can see, we have beaten Daniel Ricciardo. Uh, we are now eighth in the driver standings as a four, as a four point difference. And for Carlos Sainz, there's like um, a seven point difference. Yeah, let's see if we can get 7th. Let's take a look at the constructor standings. Um, Mercedes are still first. I think, yeah, I think they've won. I think they won the constructor standings. I don't think it's possible for Red Bull to, to um, get the constructor standings trophy carrying the team. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah.